Well, hello, greetings and salutations. Welcome to Knife Chats with Tobias. I'm Tobias, and this is Knife Chats. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and <coughs> ring that notification bell. Stick around, it's gonna be a fun one. Well, if you follow Knife Detector, you probably saw recently a Rough Rider Stockman that was made in Ireland. I believe he had the one that would have probably been an RR329, uh, one that was on a three and a quarter inch frame. The one I have is probably what would have been known as the RR229 when it first came out. And this is the Junior Stockman on a two and three quarter inch frame. But you see there very clearly Rough Rider Shield, and then on the blade it says Rough Rider Ireland. There is no actual uh, model number on it or anything else, but the reason I'm believing this is the RR229 and the uh, one that um, Knife Detector was showing was the RR329 is because of who actually made these knives. Now, uh, this one here is in a yellow saw cut uh, Delrin. I believe Knife Detectors was in a brown saw cut Delrin or a black saw cut Delrin. I can't remember for sure. But it definitely had the same Rough Rider shield. And um, there's clues that uh, lead me to um, who actually made these knives for Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Um, and that company is Schrade. Um, and uh, specifically, these knives were made by Schrade in their uh, Listowel factory in Ireland. The same uh, factory where um, Jawika, Sabre, and Richard's Ireland knives were made. Now, there's a couple clues as to why I believe these were made by Schrade. Um, first is Red Rider pocket knives. And you see here the ones on the back here, the uh, RR229 small stockman. Well, this is the knife that they're talking about. And um, I don't have the RR229 roper, but I do have the RR329 outrider, which is identical to the knife that um, that um, knife detector had. Except instead of his saying Red Rider, his said Rough Rider. Notice that this is a shield. The shield is exactly the same other than one saying Rough Rider and one saying Red Rider. And if you look at the blade mark here, Red Rider Ireland <laughs> versus Rough Rider Ireland. So... The knives are nearly identical, and what's more importantly is this Red Rider 329 is the same knife as the WM 329 Frontier by Schrade. This is the Frontier series um, by Imperial Schrade Corporation, and uh, that's why it's very clear that. These knives are all made by Imperial Schrade out of their um, list tile factory in Ireland. So that's where they were made. And I suspect that these knives, the uh, Rough Rider um, knives, were made um, starting after 1995. The reason I, I, we can assume that is because, well, uh, the Rough Rider RYDER trademark uh, was done by uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works in um, 1995. So they would have had, I believe, like two or three years to get that thing up and running. So that might have also been why they uh, uh, went to their uh, the factory in Ireland and trade to do these. And it's very interesting because of um, how close it is to the Red Rider knives, which I believe are also made by um, by Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I think they were uh, made for Red Rider brand through uh, the Smoky Mountain Knife Works store. And if you notice here, 
these were made in 1994 so shortly after that they would have been popping these out and I'm betting if not 1995 possibly by 1996 these knives were showing up and they may have been made as late as 2004 I don't really know for sure um, but I do know that uh, by 2004 Imperial Shred uh, pretty much went belly up and they stopped making uh, these knives at that time. Their Frontier series and everything else dried up. This is the Frontier series. Notice it's pretty much the same except the shield is not nearly as fancy. So that's uh, what I do know is that so probably somewhere around 1996 to say 2000, 2001, that's probably when these knives were made. Maybe a little later, maybe a little uh, earlier. It's really hard to tell. And I know so far I have seen what would would have been the same as the uh, RR229 Roper and the RR329 Outrider. And I think I've even seen the uh, RR339 Trail Bar Boss, the uh, Large Stockman, as well as the Hired Hand or Trapper. Now this, these were the names they used when they were uh, in the Red Rider lineup, uh, but um, well, RR and Red Rider, RR Rough Rider, the numbers, they wouldn't even need to change them if they didn't want to, but they might have changed them or so, I don't know. Uh, but the numbers, uh, the, uh, the 229, the 329, the 339, and the 249 numbers, are the same numbers used in the uh, Frontier series by Schrade. The only difference is that Schrade uh, listed them as WM instead of RR. So the numbering is the same from Schrade to Red Rider, and I'm assuming that it was the same numbering used in the Red Rider series. Uh, however, the Red Rider series also had, I believe, a Black Delrin. Uh, handle too, in which case maybe the numbers did change. But uh, quality wise, what can I say about them? Um, well, for one thing, this one, uh, the blades are still tight and it's been a while for it. And it's obvious that it has been used or so, but not used heavily. There's not much snap in them. Um, I have cleaned it, but, and I've oiled it, but really there's not much snap in them and I tell you what there's not much snap in the uh, in these knives either the ones by uh, the old Frontier series a little bit better I guess but these look like they have a carbon steel blade to them I'm not sure at least uh, this main blade looks to be carbon steel it's got a very nice patina going on with it um, also yeah very nice patina going on with it and same with the, um, oh, wrong one. Same with the sheep foot blade. The pin blade, I don't know. It might be carbon steel. I'm assuming it is. Why would they uh, change them from knife to knife? Uh, it looks like probably nickel silver bolsters. Uh, and then you obviously have the yellow uh, Delrin or composition handle going on with it and a nickel silver shield there. I think it's nickel shield, nickel silver. It could very well be stainless steel. Um, but to be honest with you, I would not say the quality is fantastic. And matter of fact, this is an older um, Rough Rider uh, in white smooth bone. I can't remember the number off the top of my head. Is it numbered on the back here? Yeah, RR243. We know it's got 440A stainless steel in it, and uh, blades work a whole lot better. Much better action on it. You got the nice white smooth bone handle, so that's a step up. You got the brass liners, uh, the stainless steel back springs, and the nickel silver bolsters, all on a knife of the same size. And uh, well, I hate to say it, but yeah, the, the one made in China is definitely markedly better than the one that was made in Ireland. So that might be why they ended up moving the production there. Um, 
but it also might be why the production started in Ireland because they were being made by Schrade and uh, it was just under contract and you know what better way to do that get a knife out quickly and um, these were always like the economy knives that were coming out through Schrade the ones that were coming out of Ireland um, they were very much the low cost ones but the steel wasn't awful on them but the uh, the construction was lacking and you see there the stainless steel uh, spacers and back springs and stuff um, you can see the finish is not the world's greatest or anything else and the same with this knife you can see it's pretty much the you can see the rough edges on those uh, springs and everything so very much you know what you expect uh, from any of the um, knives um, like a, a Jawika or a uh, or a um, um, Saber brand uh, knife. That's what you're going to get in these early Rough Riders that were made in Ireland. Um, right now, I guess they're kind of uh, you're starting to see them a little bit more on eBay. I saw one listing on of one trying to sell it for like seventy five dollars. It's definitely not worth $75, even as a collector's item. Um, I think I ended up spending um, 12 bucks for this one. And quite frankly, if you're looking for a quality Rough Rider knife, you can buy any new Rough Rider knife for 12 15 bucks, And it's going to make this one look like the piece of junk that it is. The only difference is, is this knife is, you know, several years old and was made in Ireland so it's kind of a an oddity um, there weren't a lot of them made I guess but uh, they were made and they are out there and uh, well you know uh, if you're a Rough Rider collector yeah maybe you do want to get one of those ones made in Ireland but uh, as far as I'm concerned there is no way in the world I would be spending um, $75 for one of these knives, especially considering the one that's going for $75 right now is a trapper. But anyway, there you go. Uh, I thought it was kind of interesting, and I also thought it was kind of interesting that it is, I mean, look at that. Rough Rider, Red Rider, talk about copycatting. Anyway, there you go. Stick around for some slides. Let me take just a second to thank you once again for dropping by and spending a few minutes here at Knife Chats with Tobias. I really do appreciate it and I do appreciate any comments that you leave. So please uh, remember to give me that thumbs up or that you know what. And also don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next episode is up and running. Thanks again for dropping by. Really do appreciate your time here.